Hello friends! Today you'll see how actors of the film Titanic have changed. You'll know the original names and age. I will show you how they looked then in 1997 and what's with them now in 2021. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Leonardo DiCaprio is a complex and daring actor who started his career with episodes in advertising and now has achieved global respect for his diverse roles. In the Titanic, he played Jack Dawson, young artist and rose lover. The movie brought him worldwide fame. Katie Bates received an Oscar and the numerous of all the prestigious awards for her contribution to cinema, and Stephen King noted her as his favorite. She is recognized as the queen of the screen in the movie Titanic. She played the socialite Molly Brown. Danny Nucci started his career in 1984. He became famous precisely for his role in the film Titanic, where he played Fabrizio, Dawson's best friend. Danny is considered a good actor, who has also been invited to appear in a numerous of successful blockbusters. Billy Zane has already taken part in 175 projects to date, one of which is Cal Hockley in the movie Titanic, have brought him fame. For his craft, he received the Blockbuster Entertainment, B-Movie Award, and the Best of the Year, and was nominated four times. Jason Barry rose to fame by starring in Titanic as Tommy Ryan, a third-class passenger who became friends with Fabrizio and Dawson. He's got many awards for his performance in the film Still Life. Most of all, he started in films of the crime and drama genre. Evan Stewart's career began with the TV show All Quiet on the Western Front. Most of his fame came to him in 1997 after his role as first officer Murdoch in the film Titanic. And in 2005, he became one of the contenders for the role of James Bond for the series 007. Jonathan Hyde's second career includes over 60 roles in TV series and films. There are many successful works, among them Anaconda, The Mummy, Rich Rich, etc., who received an award for Best Supporting Actor. He also starred in Titanic as businessman Bruce Eastman. Johnny Phillips' main popularity came from his role as second officer Lightsoller in Titanic. He is also remembered for his cameo appearance on the TV series Midday Murders. He was nominated for the Short Grand Prix for his performance in the film Voodoo. Francis Fisher is a Kids Screen Award winner, has received four nominations and has participated in over 140 projects. The picture Unforgiven and Titanic, the role of Ruth Bucator, the mother of Rose and the widow of Dewey Bucator, brought her worldwide fame. David Warner has gained popularity by playing romantic and villainous roles not only in films, but also on television, video games and animation. One of these roles was in the film Titanic, while well, it spies a lovejoy, and for which he was nominated for Best Movie Role. Acting skill of Victor Garber knows no bounds, and his acting is distinguished by naturalness and lightness. He has played many roles, both in film and theater, for which he received many awards. He also played Thomas Andrews, a shipbuilder in the movie Titanic. Bernard Hill became famous for his role as Yorther Hughes in Boys of Black Things. He's the only actor to have performed iconic roles in the 11 Oscar-winning films The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King and Titanic, where he played Captain Smith. Theon Gruffat's role as Thief Officer Lowe in Titanic made him famous among the public, but the television series Hornblower brought him great popularity, for which he received the Golden FIFA Award. He was also nominated for an MTV Movie Award for Fantastic Four. Edward Fletcher starred in nine projects but brought him a significant breakthrough in the film industry blockbuster Titanic namely the role of Sixth Officer Moody. A break of six years to find new self did not bring results, and he returned to acting again. 
Susie Amis made her debut in Fandango, but received special success for her role in The Ballad of Little Joe. During her career, she managed to star in 19 films, one of which was Titanic. There she played Lizzie Culver, Rose's granddaughter. During his career, Bernard Fox, having participated in over 140 projects, one of which is Titanic, the role of Colonel Archibald Gracie. The actor was distinguished by character and charm. His last notable work was the film The Mummy, where he played Winston. Gloria Stewart has acted in films on stage and appeared on television, but she's known more for films, namely The Invisible Man and Titanic where she appeared in the form of Old Rose. It was this role that made her the oldest person to be nominated for an Oscar. Greg Ellis received appreciation for his participation in the films Pirates of the Caribbean, As Groves, and also played Carpathia Stewart in Titanic. In addition to acting, he's engaged in voiceover, was nominated three times and awarded three times. Richard Graham became famous for his participation in Cassandra's Dream, Bounty and Titanic, where he played the role of Quartermaster Rogue. In total, there are over 70 projects in which Graham played as these are not only films, but also series with short films. One of Paul Brightwell's memorable works was the role of Quartermaster Hitchens in the 1997 blockbuster Titanic. He played in many film projects, plays, and also took part in television shows. Paul's role in Commander has become his longest recurring role. Eric Bresson began his career with the roles of the Nazis, but later he became a star of soap operas, one of which, Young and Restless, earned him fame and an Emmy. He also starred in The Red Patrol and played the role of millionaire John Astor in Titanic. Martin Jarvis began his career with appearances on television and films. In particular, he was remembered in Titanic for the role of Sir Doug Gordon. In addition, he works in theater, as well as in recording and radio, where he also achieved considerable fame. Bill Paxton made his film debut in the movie Crazy Mom, but he became recognizable after his participation in the films Thunderbirds, Aliens, Titanic the role of the scientist Brock Lovett, etc. He was repeatedly awarded prizes and awards, including the Emmy. Ron Donaggi became famous for his supporting roles in the television series Game of Thrones and Doctor Who. He also starred in the blockbuster Titanic as Master at Arms. Over the course of his acting career, he has played in more than 130 films and TV series. Michael Anstey became known to the public for the film Titanic 1997 in the guise of Benjamin Guggenheim. In general, along with acting in cinema and theater, he took part in over 170 works. He also received the Gold Bone Award for Best Ensemble Cast. Rosalind Ayers began her career in the 70s. She was especially remembered by the viewer as Lady Dove Garden in Cameron's 1997 blockbuster Titanic, as well as in the films Gods and Monsters and Uncharted 3 Drake's Illusion, awarded a nomination for the BTVA Award. Although Alex Owen Sarna did not appear on the screens often, she played only 10 films, she managed to be remembered by the public thanks to the role of Cora Cartmel in the blockbuster Titanic and also a role in the motion picture Background Music. Kate Winslet brought world fame to the release of the film Titanic, where she played Rose Dewitt. Subsequently, Kate starred in many films, received 91 awards and was awarded 163 nominations. She became the first to be nominated for an Oscar six times. Janet Goldstein became famous after playing a role in Aliens. For filming in an action movie, she was awarded the Saturn Prize. Janet also played the role of Irish Mommy in Titanic and was nominated for Best Supporting Actress for her work in Almost Darkness.
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course subscribe to the channel.